There were many Tudor houses. There were those of the rich and those of the poor. There were those of the towns and those of the countryside. They are all very similar, yet very unique. They all have intricate designs and are like no others. Before these houses came along, houses were meant as defences, but the Tudors did something no one else had ever done. They made their houses to be attractive, not to be strong. You can spot a Tudor house by its exposed timber work. These timbers were used to support the building, but when you see them in a Tudor style house, they are just being used for decoration. There are many features to Tudor houses. The first feature is the roofs. They are often thatched and made out of straw. They would first make the frame, then put bundles of straw or reed onto the frame, thus creating the roofs. In most houses, ah, windows ah, 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 were covered by wooden shutters. Glass was expensive, so it was only included in the houses of the rich. There were also chimneys. On rich houses, chimneys had very elaborate designs and were made of brick and stone. They were tall and thin, and had symmetrical patterns molded into them. However, poor houses didn't have chimneys. Instead, the smoke just went through a hole in the roof. The main basis of every house is the frame. Tudor houses are made from a wooden framework of beams. The frame includes an overhang. The other stories of some Tudor houses were bigger than the ground floor and wood overhang. This is called a jetty. Rich houses were very different to poor houses. Firstly, there were the materials. Rich houses used glass, which was very expensive, whereas the poor could only afford wooden shutters. Glass was a status symbol too. If your house has a lot of glass,